to another episode of Rev on the Road. Today I want to share with you something that I feel very passionate about and that's saying yes to the yes and it's based on the weekly themes from Science of Mind and Centers for Spiritual Living from which I am a minister and they're taking a look today at exploring how we're all creative parts of this universe and that we are all born with certain qualities and talents that we'd like to share with the world. But sometimes we get in the way of our own good and, and block that by diminishing ourselves and putting ourselves down and believing that we're not enough. But in one sense, our creativity is how we expand that of the whole universe. And so we are placed in these human forms, these human bodies to really expand the field of life um, in our human form, to experience the texture, the uh, tactile sense of being human that gives us experiences that we could not have otherwise. And so I want to share with you a couple things that were written uh, along this theme today. And the first is, Real creativity is the act of expression, not product or performance. Your life is a palette and your dreams and desires are the medium. Think about that for a moment. What dreams and desires do you have? What's longing to be expressed by means of you? And are you saying yes to it or are you just kind of suppressing it and thinking, oh, it'll never happen, or I'm not good enough, why should I bother? And another quote um, that I would like to share with you by Ernest Holmes, the founder of this teaching of Science of Mind, he states, there is an irresistible universal and divine urge within us to be happy, to be whole, and to express the fullness of life. The latent divinity within us stirs our imagination and proclaims itself through every creative endeavor. It has produced sages, saints, and saviors, and will, when permitted, create a new world in which war, poverty, sickness, and famine will have dis disappeared. So I love these words of wisdom that talk about how there is this latent power within us and it's just waiting for us to express through it and as it. And so in that way, it's not about being bold, bragging and saying, oh, look what I've done, but no, no, just revealing something that is here for us to express more of that was given to us. Um, this inherent gift of whatever talent we may have, whatever, maybe you like to sing and you just, have always felt like you could not sing and you've been holding it back for whatever reason. Or maybe writing. Are you a writer and you're just kind of suppressing that? Well, we are how God expresses here in the world. And without us in our physical forms, the universe could not know more and know what to expand into on a deeper level. So I like to think that everything is happening here to further expand this consciousness by means of us. And I know it sometimes looks messy. It doesn't always look like it. It doesn't look like people are being nice to one another. So why would we want to share our gifts to um, a world that, that feels cruel and oftentimes unforgiving? But I also like to think of what Oprah Winfrey once said, if they could do better, they would do better. And for by us going out and just expressing ourselves, we then create a platform for other people to have the same permission to do that. And it gives other people maybe that inspiration and that confidence to know that if we're being creative on some level, that maybe there's something for them to share as well. So I, I just want to invite you to explore some of these ideas of your own and think about what you want to give and present more into the world. 
what's urging that's bubbling up within you that as Aeneas Nin once said that there's this I'm not going to paraphrase her properly but um, if we do that with which is within us to do we will be successful if we don't do that which is within us to do it will destroy us and so it's not a threat <laughs> and I as I said I kind of screwed up the quote there but it is an invitation to take whatever you've been suppressing and bring it out more. Say yes to that yes within you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being open and wanting to expand yourself. If you've made it this far in the video, then perhaps you're curious. And take your life to the next level. Thank you again. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. That that would help my creative expression further. And have a beautiful day wherever you are. Namaste.